kids. Today we are making a paper cuckoo clock. I'm gonna show you how you can do this at your home. And it is so cool and easy to make. Here's a list of supplies you will need. And it's good to have help from an adult. First, I wanna take a bright sheet of paper and I am going to measure down four inches on each side four inches. So take your ruler and measure down four inches. Next, I'm going to find the center of the paper, which is at 4.25 or four and a quarter on mine. And I'm going to draw a line between the dots on either side. And this is gonna be the start of our cuckoo clock roof. Next, I'm going to measure one inch down from each of the dots that I made, one inch down. And then I'm going to draw another set of lines that kind of helps our roof stand out more. Now, I'm going to draw a horizontal line across two of the dots that I made. Next, I'm going to draw two vertical lines from the intersection of that inner triangle you see. Now it's ready to cut out. So get some scissors and start cutting. Now, that looks great. So we're going to make a dial, and a dial is usually a circle. So I used a DVD and traced it, and now I'm going to cut it out. Super easy. Next, I wanna glue this on so it stays put. So make sure you have your glue ready and glue that on. Drew a little happy face there with the glue. Okay. Next, we're going to make the inner part of the dial. And I found a coffee cup that made a circle a little bit smaller and it was just what I needed. So I traced my coffee cup, cut it out, and now I'm gonna glue it on. And it, our clock is starting to come together. So now we need to work on making a place for our cuckoo bird. Cuckoo clocks have cuckoo birds. And so what I did, I used my coffee cup again, but I didn't trace a full circle. I traced a half circle and then I drew lines about three quarters to one inch down from that circle and then connected them. So it's kind of a, a bit of a half circle. Now I'm going to glue it on. And this is where our cuckoo bird is going to sit. Okay, so I got some orange paper and this is gonna be our cuckoo bird. I used the top of a baby food jar and I traced it and now I'm cutting it out. Then I'm gonna use that same baby food jar and I'm going to cut out a white circle too because we want our cuckoo bird to stand out, look like he has wings and maybe a white belly. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing this shape. It's a unique shape. I'm not sure how to describe it to you, but I'm drawing this shape and you can watch me cut it out and you can do a similar shape on your paper. And then I'm gonna glue it on to our orange paper. And this is the bird's belly, and it also kind of gives definition to his wings. Now, I've got to make the bird's beak. So I'm just using some scrap paper, some scrap blue paper. I'm making a diamond shape, and I need part of it to be stuck down onto the paper. So in the middle of my diamond is a little bit of a rectangle. It's not very big, but I need just enough to glue on there. So I'm tracing the, the rest of my diamond shape and now I've got a beak. So I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on there 
and put it at the top. And there's our cuckoo bird's beak. And then I'm using my pen and I've got some eyes on them now. Our cuckoo bird has eyes. Doesn't he look great? Next, I'm taking a scrap piece of paper from the cuckoo case and I am doing an accordion fold, an accordion fold. And this is what is going to make our cuckoo bird look like he's coming out of the cuckoo clock. And so I'm going to glue one end to the cuckoo bird and I'm gonna glue the other end to the place where our cuckoo bird comes out. Usually it's towards the top of the clock and in the middle. It doesn't that look great. Okay, but we still have more to do. You can't stop there. Now is the fun part. We're going to put numbers on our clock, but we're not going to use ordinary numbers. Nope, because most cuckoo clocks use a different kind of numbers called Roman numerals. But it's pretty easy to understand. Here is a little decoding chart for you. I's are one, V's are five, and X's are 10. So we're gonna start writing our Roman numerals. And I'm actually going to start with 12 because it's at the very top. And 12 in Roman numerals is X and two I's. So start writing that. And then next we just have an I and then two I's for two, three I's for three. And we're gonna do four I's for four. Now it's time for a V and then a V and an I to make six. And then a V and two I's to make seven. Five plus two is seven. And then a V and three I's to make eight. And then nine is a little different. It's an I and an X. And then for 10, it's just an X. And then 11 is an X and an I. Great job. Okay, so now we're going to make a pendulum. So get that orange piece of paper or whatever color paper you used. And we're going to draw a line about two inches wide. And then we're gonna come down about three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna connect that and make a rectangle. And then we're going to come in a quarter inch on each side and draw a line one inch down and then connect that and make another rectangle. Finally, I'm gonna find the center of this. And I'm going to come just a quarter inch down. And then I'm going to draw two lines from that dot to the rectangle above it. And this is our pendulum bob. Now I'm going to draw two lines straight up between a quarter to three eighths inches wide so that we can connect our pendulum to the clock. A pendulum is what helps regulate the time on a clock. And on real clocks, you move the bob up and down to regulate the time to make it go faster or slower. It's super cool. Now I'm going to cut it out. Be careful, it's a little tricky cutting this out. Okay, that looks great. So I'm going to glue this on the back side, and I don't want my, uh, my pencil marks to be showing. So uh, make sure your pencil marks are facing towards the back. Next, cuckoo clocks. Well, I'm gonna clean up a little bit of glue. I used a little too much glue there. So I'm gonna wipe that away. And now what I'm going to do is I have these fastener brads. You can get them at Walmart or some other places. And I couldn't push mine through the paper. My paper was too thick. So I'm going to have to use a pin and poke a little hole through the middle of our clock. Right in the middle. Okay. Now it's time to make our hands. I'm going to make the hour hand first. It is the shorter hand, and mine is going to be almost two inches long and about a half inch wide. So I'm gonna trace it and then cut it out. But on one end, I'm going to give it a point. I'm just gonna cut the ends off. And then we're going to make the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand, 
and mine is going to be two and a half inches long. So it is longer than our hour hand. So we can tell the difference between the minute and the hour. So it's about a half inch wide and I'm gonna do the same thing and kind of make a triangle on one end and then I'm gonna poke a hole in it. All right, and now it's time to fasten it with the brad. It was a little tricky getting it in there and be careful, you don't wanna rip it. I kind of turned mine in a circle a little bit and now I'm gonna push it through and I'm going to push down the tabs in the back and now look, we have a clock. We have a clock, but we're not done yet. There is more. Did you know that most cuckoo clocks have weights? They have weights which help power the movement and the cuckoo bird, and some of them have music. But anyways, we need to make some pine cone shaped weights. So what I'm going to do is use my ruler and I am going to make a dot at zero and then another dot at three. And I'm gonna do this again because I want two weights for my clock. And then what I'm going to do is make a teardrop shape, okay? So on one dot, you'll have more of a circle, but then it's gonna come to a point at the other dot. And this kind of makes it look like a pine cone, which is what most cuckoo clock weights are. And then I'm going to draw some skinny rectangles coming off of the top of the weights and then some circles attached to those rectangles so that we have more room to glue it, okay? The skinny rectangles are the chains that connect the weights to the clock movement. And next I'm going to glue the weights on and I'm going to use the circle tab and make sure you have your pencil marks facing the back. We don't want those to show. It's just gonna look better that way. And then let it dry. And now you can put your name on it if you want to. You can test out that cuckoo bird if it's dry. So you can practice your numbers with this clock. Uh, it is really fun. Now we need to find a place to hang it. You can put this on your refrigerator like this. And that is a great place to put it. Or you can just keep it around to play with. It is super cool. Thanks for joining me today in making a paper cuckoo oh. clock. Oh. Is that your clock? Yeah, yeah.